Hello and welcome to Door 21. That's what we caught up. It's Door 21 on day 21 of December of the Santa Story Shed Advent Calendar. Hope that you're all doing well and taking good care. I've got a couple of bits here now. One's a short story and the other's a poem. So bear with me. This one, uh, well, the two pieces are to be dedicated to Heather Matuzo, I've probably got the name wrong, I can never pronounce it properly, I'm sorry about that, but it's for Heather, okay, and uh, the first piece is called What Happened Christmas Eve by Oliver Herfold, so sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy the story. It was Christmas Eve and the Frost Fairies were busy getting ready for Christmas Day. First of all, they spread the loveliest white snow carpet over the rough, bare ground. Then they hung the bushes and trees with icicles that flashed like diamonds in the moonlight. Later on, they planned to draw beautiful frost pictures on the window panes to surprise the little children in the morning. The stars shone brightly and the moon sent floods of light in every nook and corner. How could anyone think of sleeping when there was such a glory outside? Jessie and Fred had gone to bed very early, so they might be the first to shout Merry Christmas, but their eyes would not stay shut. Oh dear, it must be morning, said Fred. Let us creep softly downstairs and maybe we'll catch Santa Claus before he rides off. Hand in hand, they tipped out to the dining room and peeped out of the big window. Surely, surely, that was someone climbing up the roof of Cousin Nellie's house. It must be old Santa. Fred gave a chuckle of delight. To be sure, the reindeer were very queer-looking objects, and the sleigh such a funny shape. But the children were satisfied. The old fir tree, whose high branches almost touched the roof, knew all about those shadows. But it was so old that no one could understand a word of the many tales it told. There's something scratching on the door, whispered Jessie. But it was only a mouse who had sniffed the delightful odours of the Christmas goodies and was trying his best to find a way into the pantry and test them with his sharp teeth. Come, said Jess, we'll turn to icicles if we stay here much longer. So upstairs they quickly scampered. Papa had been to town on an errand, so it was quite late when he came home. As he was hunting in his pockets for his key, he heard a pitiful cry, and looking down he saw a big white cat carrying a tiny kitten in her mouth. Poor thing, said Papa, you shall come inside until morning. Santa Claus had been there with the nicest wagon for Fred and a warm sealskin cap that lay right in the middle of it. When Papa left the room, Puss and her kitty were curled up comfortably on the rug, singing their sleepy song. The sun was shining brightly in the dining room window when Jessie and Fred made their appearance. Then Fred just laughed with delight, for right in the crown of his new cap lay the cutest white kitten, with big blue eyes and a wee pink nose while standing close by as if to guard her darling from danger was good old mother puss. I've never had a live Christmas present before, said Fred. Now I know Santa Claus read the letter I threw up the chimney, because I told him to bring me a kitten, and here it is. Papa smiled and looked at Mamma, and then everybody said, Merry Christmas at once. So, have you sent a letter to Santa Claus and and what was on it maybe you could let us know at the story shed blog at gmail.com and it would be interesting to know what kind of things you've asked for I'm now going to look for a nice little poem for you about a snowman it could take a bit of time I should have put a piece of paper in there didn't I? Mm, 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 mm. 
All right, bear with me. Back in a moment. Hello again. Uh, so I found the poem. I found it. I should have found it first off, shouldn't I? Never mind, eh? It's nearly Christmas. So the poem that I'm about to read you is called A Snowman. Oh, the beautiful snow were all in a glow, Nell, Dolly and Woolly and Dan. For the primest of fun, when all said and done, is just making a big snowman. Two stones for his eyes look quite owlishly wise, a hard pinch of snow for his nose, then a mouth that's as big as the snout of a pig, and he'll want an old pipe, I suppose. Then the snowman is done, and tomorrow what fun to make piles of snow cannon all day, and to pelt him with balls till he totters and falls, and a thaw comes and melts him away. So, do you think that we'll have any snow for this Christmas? I don't know. Maybe we will. It's, it's still getting very cold. But hopefully you've enjoyed the stories and poems. Let us know if you have. If there's any stories or poems that you would like to hear in the next few days before the Advent calendar is over. If there are any dedications that you'd like to make, then just uh, write to us at the storyshed blog at gmail.com. That's the storyshed blog at gmail.com. Yep, storyshed blog at gmail.com. And in the meantime, Take very good care, be safe and well, and bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.